Hi there, this is Matt from TopWindowsTutorials.com and I just wanted to jump on the Windows 8 Developer Preview bandwagon and bring you some videos and thoughts on the new operating system preview. OK, so what are we looking at here? Well, this is the new Metro user interface and these are all apps that we can launch from this new user interface and I'll just scroll along and show you um, these apps represent the apps that come with the developer preview and most of these were developed by college interns for Microsoft and I'll show you some of those in a minute and over here we have standard items that would normally be on the start menu. Now the Metro user interface is actually intended to replace the start menu. Uh, it does replace the start menu entirely in this developer preview. Um, whether that will be a permanent feature or you'll be able to change back to the old-fashioned start menu remains to be seen. I would imagine that at the very least a third party program will enable you to do that when Windows 8 actually comes out. Um, importantly you can search here using your keyboard so if I search for something like control panel we get this search box appear instantly as soon as I start typing and we can jump to any of the items that are found. I launch control panel, you'll notice this has, has changed quite a bit. And we can personalize the appearance straight from the control panel. And of course, all this interface is optimized not just for keyboard and mouse, but for touch. What I envision and what Microsoft seems to envision as the future of, of personal computing is that Windows will run on a lot more kinds of devices. So for instance there will be desktop PCs for power users that need a full desktop PC. Uh, there will be smart tablets like your iPad kind of tablet that will run this interface primarily and be able to access touch optimized um, applications and features and there'll be all kinds of things in between. There'll be family computers with touch screens that also have keyboards and mice for writing letters and possibly home theater PCs as well but more on that point later. In the developer preview one of the things you will notice is that um, quite often you'll click an option and you'll be thrown back to what looks a lot more familiar, the original Windows desktop. Now the belief is that this will still be a core part of the Windows experience and this is great news for everyone who likes to work with the desktop. There certainly are programs such as word processors and obviously years and years of um, older applications that work quite comfortably on the desktop and on a computer such as the one I'm using here with keyboard, mouse and monitor the desktop arrangement is um, ideal. Now if I go and click the start menu again rather than going to the start menu as I pointed out you're sent back into the Metro user interface. So let's, um, let's click on a Metro app. Let's have a look at this one here which is, um, this is just an RSS or um, website reader application. Uh, at the moment I've got it open on a, a comic. By right clicking I can go back from here and then as you can see I can browse through the various other sites that have live bookmarks or RSS feeds and click on one and then we get this very slick and very tablet friendly interface where we can read the content. So I'll just go back again 
Uh, one thing I couldn't get used to quite yet, I don't know if it's because I'm doing it wrong or because it's touch optimized, is this task switcher. You have to bring your cursor over to here, right at the edge, and then you click and drag, or you can sort of shuffle it backwards and forwards to flick between the various things you have open and then let go on the one you want. Uh, this is actually Internet Explorer, the new Internet Explorer which is optimized both for touch and if I switch back to the desktop and I can still use my alt tab keys to do that I can actually launch Internet Explorer here and, and have it in the more traditional desktop style with the more familiar layout so that's great it it will mean that Windows 8 works with a lot of different devices which personally I think is a, a good idea and um, that certainly opens the possibility for multi-use devices such as tablets which then dock with keyboards and perform more than one use and now that um, the new interface and developer tools are in the hands of developers and curious individuals all over the world we can expect to see some great new features being developed for this interface uh, we won't expect to see Windows 8 being released until at least 2012 and what you have to remember with this preview and you've no doubt seen it elsewhere on the web as well if you're curious is that it's a still a very very early preview version and really nothing you see here is set in stone however we can really expect to see the Metro user interface playing a big part in Windows 8. Uh, notable by its absence is Windows Media Center. Now Media Center is one feature in Windows which I feel gets underused and is actually very very good if you have a PC linked up to your TV. It can be very slick especially if you expand it with a few plugins. Um, maybe Metro is intended to replace Media Center as well although using it with a remote control rather than a mouse or your finger or a stylus might not be the best thing but we'll see uh, also promised for the final version of Windows 8 is a version of Xbox Live which will be very similar to the Xbox console giving great support for games and gaming and social gaming and that's really all I wanted to show you uh, if you are curious to check this out yourself remember that it's a very early preview and you will need reasonable computer skills in order to install it. You should not run it as your primary operating system. It's not stable enough or supported enough for that just yet. Um, but you can download it for free. And um, I'll put the download link in the notes for the video for the more curious and brave amongst um, our readership. Okay, so that was Windows 8 Developer Preview. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you on our forum and on topwindowstutorials.com.